don't worry about the next because it's your boy Chris with the next. Yeah, I know you can't see me. Like I said, um, life, um, real life been taking over. Um, getting a new camera, getting a new everything. No one still works, but it's just in um, a mist of things right now. So, but I do want to come on here and talk about um, happiness and maintaining your happiness. Because I was just thinking, in a world, because um, in this world, you know, where you got the media, you got the, you got people who's just negative, and you have like things of that nature, and it's more promoted, it's more seen, and you know, people can get depressed, and they can go under, and they can start turning to alcohol, and they can start turning to drugs, so I guess numb the pain or whatever. In general, it's like. I guess to numb the pain or escape, whatever. And sometimes that lasts for a long time, and then you have happiness that you get it, and it's like short, in short burst, burst. When it actually should be the other way around. Like we should always have happiness. We shouldn't be really fighting for it. And like depression, that should like it shouldn't happen. But if it does, it should be quick. But um, I just wanted like just rambling about it, you know. Uh, my key points is just if you're in a situation where you know you're not happy or you need to get out, then get out. If you know somebody's just like using you or this is not this person or, or the person that you thought they were or they're changing and being funny, like don't go chasing after them. Just stop. Just stop messing with them. You know, just because I just had like just thinking, just say like. You know, these long talks and just like, you know, um, like life experience, you know, don't be allowed to be treated like you are uh, a machine that just goes in personal life, work life, like telling you about work life and like any aspect of form, you know, like you just know you like not need to be in a situation whether it's family or so-called friends, you know, like if you, like don't second guess yourself. Because sometimes the first time you was right, like just, you can love some people from afar. So. And I just feel like, um, I just feel like just negativity just, like it just needs to cease. You know, I mean, like if people want to be negative, um, hate, is uh, be trolling, you know, be dirty, whatever, you know, you can do that. Be in a corner, sit, sit in a corner and go do that. But, like, don't go trading on anybody else's, you know, a positivity and ability just to look to the light. Because, you know, like I said, maintaining happiness is not very easy. And it's most, most of the times it's just the way we think or we're stuff happened in the past and um you know things with family or friends or work like whatever the, the case may be sometimes it's just that or a situation you're in and once you get out once you're in a new horizon somewhere more positive with like if you live in a hood you know we got a bunch of liquor stores and uh cemeteries and uh, churches but ain't nobody getting married so that's probably probably for a funeral service and then you go to like another area and you see like the beach you see like one liquor store and it's like big and it's called no you call it liquor stores it's called beverages or something and or liquor barn or whatever and yeah it's like if you need to get to like a positive space like don't feel hesitant to do it just you know just do it you know like we, like we don't always have like all the answers, but like, like those are the key elements to like get into, you know, happiness and maintaining it. You know, I shouldn't even talk about like maintaining happiness because it should just be like a natural order. But in this world, it's not, and especially in this generation, like people have no problem being savage, and childish, and malicious, and it's like being promoted as, you know, because whatever we see on t TV, like people, it'll try to imitate. I guess life imitates art, but that's not an art form that should be imitated. But it is. 
just like the news and all this negative stuff just to keep going on, you know, you sometimes just like not become oblivious to it, but it's sometimes it's too much. So, you know, yeah, that's just my thoughts, uh, quick thoughts and just maintaining, you know, you know, happiness and getting yourself um, to a, a better a positive space because life is a gift from God. Um, <coughs> Life is a gift from God, so whether you believe in Him or not, but I do, and He is real, and everything comes back to you tenfold, like, like whatever you, you choose to believe in, you know, everything comes back to you tenfold, like, like that's just real, like karma, so like, whatever you put out, you will receive, and you can't like cry or bitch and moan when somebody do, does you dirty. Because you did that, but you didn't think that was going to come back to you because it didn't happen, like, quick. But, um, yeah, God works in mysterious ways, so that's just my thoughts, ramblings, any comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them. Uh, till then, this has been your boy, Chris, up next. Peace.